Hey guys, I am making another video for you about uh, GSE 3.2. Uh, once again, as always, thank you for all of your support. Every thumbs up, every like, subscribe, uh, all the comments, I appreciate all of it. Uh, I really want to up my subscriber count, so if you can just keep hitting that subscribe button, that would be great. Um, but today, uh, I'm going to show how to create a sequence. Uh, this is not a normal sequence. I am going to be creating a sequence that does not use any macro text. So this sequence will be clickable. So with that said, you'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. Here we go. I decided to go to some place that's a little more quiet than the target dummy area uh, just to make this video. But um, basically what you would do is you'd open up GSE with a slash GSE command. You would go to sequences and you'd want to create a new sequence. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. All right, I'm going to call this one click ret single target. So click ret st. Uh, and then you click on the tab one uh, and you'll go to start making your sequence. When you're in here, the key to making a clickable sequence is never use the macro toggle. So you want to use the spell toggle, the item toggle, the pet toggle, the toy toggle, any one of those. But the main things you're going to be using is spell. Uh, you'll want to be familiar with your rotation and the different spells that you want to use. Uh, but basically we're going to be making that spell list. So usually what I do is uh, I will go to Wowhead, I'll look what my priority is for different builds to see what the uh, best rotation would be, and then I'll go based on that. Um, having played Brett for a long time, I pretty much you know, know where things should go, uh, but usually for the first block I like to put an opener. Uh, and for Rep Paladin, I like the opener to be Blade of Justice so it can drop a Consecration on the first target it hits. So. We'll just put Blade of Justice, and then you want that to hit on your target. So then create another block, um, and actually the next block that we're going to make is going to be a loop, and then the loop, we want that loop to be a priority loop, or priority list, uh, and then we'll put our spells for that. So. Uh, we want our spenders to go off so that's going to be our top priority is our spenders so we're going to put final verdict and that's going to go against our target uh, and then um, usually i want to make sure that that goes off so i would probably do another block that's literally the same thing. So GSC is smart with some things. So it knows if you have the talent that changes final verdict into Templar's verdict. Uh, so it will change the name of the spell when you put it in the list. So we have it in there twice. Now I'm gonna move on to the next thing. Uh, the next thing I want to go off would be final reckoning. So, so final reckoning. Now final reckoning is a um, reticle spell so um, sometimes people like to put out your cursor unfortunately cursor does not work with this way of making a sequence really the only option we have is at player so what this will do it is it'll drop final reckoning on you okay now you notice we can't do any cast sequences with this uh, we can't do any conditionals or anything like that um, so let's move on to our next spell. We're going to just put Divine Toll. Okay. Then we're going to put uh, Wake of Ashes. And actually, I want to move Wake of Ashes up. So we're going to move that up. Uh, we're going to move it up two spells to put it in front of Final Reckoning. So it's going to make that more of a priority. And the reason that I'm doing that is... Uh, for that new talent that we can get, the uh, Radiant Glory. Um, so it's gonna put Wake of Ashes before that, so it's gonna pop our wings more often. Now to make this macro foolproof, uh, we also want to put Execution Sentence in here. 
right? That way, if you're using the execution sentence talent, it will go off. Now, if you want it to be a completely lazy macro in case you're not using Radiant Glory, you do want Avenging Wrath to go off. So, so you'll want to put that in your sequence somewhere. Now, Avenging Wrath is not on the GCD, so uh, it can be anywhere in your sequence and it, it'll go off since uh, it can go off in between spells that do have a GCD. I'm going to put a Judgment in here. I'm going to put another Blade of Justice in here. That way, Blade of Justice is in this priority loop. Um, I forgot Hammer of Wrath, so let's put this up higher. I'm going to put it in between Wake of Ashes and Final Reckoning. Uh, so it has a little bit of a higher priority. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty much a Retribution Paladin. Uh, rotation as, as basic as it can be that's all of our offensive spells so with that I'm gonna click Save now what I like to do since I'm making a single target and an AoE sequence uh, I will go up here and I will change this to say AE and I'll go up here to the two spells that are our single target spenders and change those to Divine Storm And then I'll click save and we'll wait for that to pop up here and now we have these sequences so we can close that on this window go to key bindings I will change my key bindings to click single target uh, click AE now before we test these out uh, one of the other things that this won't do is it won't start attack um, because there's no macro text to tell it to start attacking. Um, also, I will show you that click does work. So for this, you're going to need to make click macros. So I'll show you that this works with a click macro. Uh, for that, you're going to hit slash M. Go to your macro interface. I like to create it under my character specific macros. You want to click new now I like to name this the same name as the sequence so uh, I would go into my sequences remember what I named it so click ret st for single target uh, choose the icon of the question mark that way the icon will change and then in your macro you want to type click and in here you can put modifiers but in this case, uh, I will put click no mod, no channeling, and put it in bracket, and then the name of the sequence. All right, so that's my ret st sequence. Uh, then I'll put at the beginning, start attack. Start attack will not just start attack, but it will also um, target the closest mob so click save and then you want to make another one and you'll notice that I highlighted this and I hit control C so I copied the whole thing so I'm gonna make my AOE one so click ret AE choose the question mark icon paste this here change it to ret AE and then save that now I'm gonna put both of these on my uh, action bar so single target is going to be on my number one key and AE is going to be on my number two key. Now before we go and test these, there's another thing that is very important. Uh, when Blizzard made the changes to how macro text would work uh, and this was first discovered that we can just go directly to the spells. Uh, we realize that with the limited space that we have on macros being only 255 characters that we need to try to save characters so when that happened uh, we learned that um, 
making the click command simply click the name of the sequence, uh, we had to change an option in GSC. So that option was that in Dragonflight we would use action button use key down. Um, but now we want that to be unchecked and we want it to be key up. So you want to go into your GSE options, click on troubleshooting, uncheck the action button use key down, and then you want to set the force CVAR state to key up and then close. Once you do that, then we can go down to the training dummies. Uh, you will want to hit the your action bar one key or your action bar two key. You can click it. You can use your mouse to click it. You can hit your one key on your keyboard, however you choose to run your sequence. Uh, and it will work now. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and then go down to the trainee dummies to show you. So here I am at the trainee dummies. Uh, it's quite busy down here, as you can see. Uh, but with that said, I am just going to click the buttons. So if I click this, you see that I start out. I'm using my spenders. I'm just clicking my action button uh, with my mouse and it's going through the rotation. Um, I can hit the same thing by just hitting my keyboard buttons. I'm now hitting my AoE build, my AoE sequence that I just made, and it's going through the same thing. So. This is another way to build your sequences. Uh, it does work. And uh, you can use this at your own discretion. Um, it is very limited as you can't use any conditionals. Uh, and it's just set to using base spells only. So with that said, I'm Oak. Thank you again for watching this video. Uh, thank you for all of your support, for hitting the like button, for subscribing. Uh, I appreciate all of your comments. I still want to get this goals up. Uh, I'd love to get a ton more likes on these videos. Uh, I'd also like to get a lot more subscriptions um, so we can keep this channel moving forward. But thanks again and uh, have a good day.